Hi, I'm Philip from CodeCabinet.com. Today I would like to do a very quick video on how to export um, access reports with dynamic filters to PDF. Luckily, Microsoft included the possibility to export reports to PDF with Access 2010. So you don't need any external components like uh, PDF printer drivers or the likes anymore. You can just use built-in functionality to export your reports. And it's actually not very difficult to export them with uh, dynamical filters applied, but um, Unless you know how to do it, it is a bit counterintuitive and you might struggle a little bit to achieve that. So um, that's what I'm going to cover today and I'm diving right in. I prepared a little function with uh, two, two constant here. They are just the report name and the file name I'm going to export. And now I'm using the do command output to method to export the report. And um, the output um, type is a report, of course. The object name is my constant report name. The output format is AC format PDF. And the output file is what I already prepared here, a file name. So if I run that, you just see the, the progress window flickering. And now here is my exported report. And this is just uh, some sample data. It is, um, yeah, well, an, a report with actor names, nothing special just for this sample. So if you look at the methods of this um, of this function, uh, just hide this so you can see the full list of parameters on screen. So you, you see there is no option included to um, supply any filters to that function. So you can only export the report as it is with all the data. But usually we, um, we use, use the do command open report function and supply some filters there. If we um, open the preview of a report, we can use a where condition like uh, this one, actor name is greater equal A and actor name is less equal than uh, D. That will just export um, all actors with names from A to Z. So if I uh, run this and switch to the access environment, you see this is the report and it only has four actors in that list. So that is pretty easy, but we want to export the report to PDF. And there's just one thing you need to know. If you just um, write the do command output to um, output format report and um, use the report name as I did before. Let's fix that output format PDF and the file name here. Now, if I was just using that line, it would export the full report and it would actually open the report and export it. But there's a tiny detail that you need to know. If you run output two on a report that is actually open already before you run the output two method, it will output the report with the data that is in there. And so combining these two lines will actually solve the problem because the do command open report here that does open the report with our filter on the actor name and then the do command output to method will just output the report with the data it is displaying right now so 
these two methods combined achieve what you want to do. And let's just add some minor details. We can use the window mode AC hidden for the report in the do command open report method. And that will hide the report. It is open, but your users will not see it. So, and there's one thing we need to remember. The second line exports the report and that achieved what we wanted to do. But the report is still open afterwards. So we should add a do command close for AC report and supply the report name once again. And we say AC save no because we do not want to save any design changes. And if I run this now, I hit F5 and now the export file has been overwritten, but if I open this, you see it only contains the filtered data. And that is what we wanted to achieve. So that was actually very, very easy, but you need just to know how to do it. Well, problem solved, just three lines of code and easy solution. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. And um, if you rather prefer a text version of this, um, down there in the info box, I'm going to put a link to my website where there is a text version of the whole topic. And there will be uh, that function I'm using here. So you can write, uh, copy and paste it right away into your application. Okay, bye bye for today. Ciao.